So something that we've seen in Graham over the pandemic, and especially now as we're getting through the lockdowns and the restrictions are being lifted, is that different provinces and different states in the US are all at different at different situations and you know, lifting restrictions. It makes it very confusing. So what's the sort of broader thoughts around um, what we should do as we, as we get vaccinated um, and the restrictions are being lifted so that we can um, intermingle and, and, and work together when you as an individual are fully vaccinated, and especially when you're at least one week after that second dose, if you took a two dose vaccine, you are now at, you have way, way reduced risk of any negative consequences of COVID-19. And you're also uh, now a lower risk to other people because there's a lower likelihood that if you did get exposed, you could even transmit it to other people. But when a state or a province is deciding what to do at the population level, they have to look at the big picture. And so they'll be looking at the vaccination rates on a whole, and they'll also be looking at the level of COVID spread in the area. And so you'll see that different states and different provinces, they'll be relaxing restrictions at different times. Ideally, it's because a lot of people are fully vaccinated and also level of co levels of COVID in the community are low. And so, uh, but they may not use those criteria. Those are what we should use from a public health perspective, but every state and province is handling a little bit differently. So just know that when you're fully vaccinated, um, what you may be able to do privately could differ from what your local public health unit or your state or province is saying you can do in a public setting. So Graham has implemented many protocols uh, for its people, you know, on the, on our sites, we've we've implemented um, new ways of working, um, restrictions, and and we've put social distancing in place. We've provided you know different sorts of protective equipment for people to for people to work with. How long do these things? How, how long are these things going to last? Um, and will we ever get back to the, 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 the sort of normal situation that we remember? Um, do you think that we'll have to continue with, with those protocols, even when everybody's had vaccinations? Will we be living with COVID for the rest of our lives? I want to reassure everyone that pandemics have an end. This pandemic, too, will end, just as those of the past have. I know it's been really challenging and also very difficult to navigate, especially for such a large company like Graham that has people um, all over the continent and in many different communities working in really challenging conditions. It's not easy to social distance and to wear a mask when you're doing really heavy labor, so it will end. The good news for many people is that we're very fortunate to have so many fantastic vaccines um, and to have access to them in North America. There is an abundance of vaccines now in both Canada and the US. And that means that anyone who wants a vaccine can be able to get one, right? So that's really important. That means that locally, we'll be able to do a lot more things like we used to um, and safely do them as well. It's those two things we're always looking for, high vaccination rates and low COVID numbers. We have to remember that pandemic by definition is something that happens around the world, it's global. And so while in our day-to-day -day lives here in North America and for workers across Graham, I think things will become a lot easier very soon if they haven't already. And I encourage everyone to encourage their networks to get vaccinated so we can get there even faster. But around the world, we're gonna keep hearing about COVID and new variants will continue to emerge for as long as many countries um, continue to lack access to vaccines. And so that's something that we really have to come together now and, and think about um, because for this to really, really end to the point where we don't have to ever think or hear about it, it's gonna take a big combined global effort. Could you explain what herd immunity perhaps is? That's a conversation or a comment that everybody has. On the herd immunity front, herd immunity is something that can only be achieved safely through vaccinations. Um, to get herd immunity by acquired infection would be way too devastating and way too difficult. And um, the other thing is that infections actually uh, don't necessarily provide 
protection against these new variants, whereas the vaccines do because they cause such a strong immune response. So the best way to achieve herd immunity is through vaccinations. However, what exact number or percentage of vaccination do you have to reach in order to get to herd immunity? That's That changes depending on the type of vaccine used, which in Canada and the US, all the vaccines that we use are are great and will help us get us there faster. But the other thing is what variants are circulating. And so the more transmissible variants we have, the higher coverage of vaccination we need to get to in order to achieve herd immunity. What's most important though, is for us not to focus on a particular percentage of vaccination coverage. Really our goal right now is to see as many people as possible vaccinated and get the COVID numbers so low And so that's what we need to focus on. That's the goalpost ahead of us right now. I'm Science Sam. Thanks for watching. And remember that this is just one video in a whole series that I've done with Graham Construction. If you learned something, give the video a thumbs up and a share.